Hey, what's going on, everybody? We're back here with another grounded video, and this time we're going after the bombardier beetles. Now, their uh, bombardier barts are used in. Oh, we got a little mite here. Una momento, poor favor. All right, let me get somewhere somewhat safe real quick. You can just sit over there beating up the mushroom. Anyway, we're kind of out in the middle of the hedge here, just near the uh, flooded zone. We're going to be headed down here by the yoke to girth head to uh, go after these bombardier um, beetles. Some of the things that they're used for are uh, the insect the insect axe. Yeah, so for the tier 2 axe to hit the, uh, the bigger weeds and stuff like that, you'll need three bombardier parts. And also for... The brood mother BLT, when you eventually get to that point where you're fighting her, you're going to uh, need bombardier parts to make this. Also used in the jerky rack, which is really good. It's nice to have, once you start getting your base built, have a couple of these up, just uh, drop food on there anytime so it doesn't go bad. As well as the grinder here. So when you start uh, getting into the shroom and doom aspect of the game, uh, you'll need the grinder to, uh, to make the mushroom stuff. And that's it for the bombardier parts, so let's go. I don't know why dandelion didn't work there. Let's go get some of these bombardier beetles. Actually, I need to drop some stuff real quick. And we're going to be using the ladybug armor for this one. And the uh, ant club. It's just uh, one of my favorite setups. Oh, here we go. Just got rid of you guys. Got a spike out of here. Alright, now can we do this please? Alright. Do a little swimming down here. It's going to be near the, uh, the bottom part of the hedge over here. Kind of want to just go... It's right around here. We're going to find some of the human food as well. I don't have my tier 2 axe uh, or anything with me. I just have all the tier 1 stuff. But there's going to be the apple down there that you can find to get some uh, apple bits. It's over here by the toad. The battle toad. I'm going to cut through over here. It's a little weevil and Af aphid island right behind this uh, battle toad here. If you're over here getting some uh, other resources, there's right in this area right here. There's, uh, I think it's this little island area right here. Basically right in here. If you come over here, there's tons of aphid and weevils running around. I know a lot of people are building traps to get like the unlimited food and stuff like that, but a lot of the times you're not going to have to uh, use that much food. Just pick it up when you're out, and then when you get home, throw it on a jerky rack or cook it if it's an emergency, and then you're good to go. Alright, so there's a sprinkler head right over here by Spade Gulch. There's usually larva over there in the corner, and then there's going to be the bombardier beetles. I think there's a couple of them over here. You can find them over by the edge of the fence as well, by the pond, so if you're coming through this way. There's going to be two here. There's three mosquitoes right here, and there's uh, like the uh, three or four orb weavers. That, that's where we killed them over in that location. Um, they're in other spots as well, too. You'll come across them, usually just two or three. I know there's a little cave over here where there's one, one or two over there. So they're not too difficult to find. The easiest place is either uh, Rake Rock Point or uh, just over here in the corner. There's one right there. Double check our mutations. I think I got Barbarian, Meat Shield. We'll take this one off and we'll throw... Uh, throw Cardio on there. So we get extra stamina. So I think there's two that are going to be in this area. There's up three. We'll try to, uh, just like any other time... 
key thing for them is just watch out for that poison. This is a mic out of here. That poison does a lot of damage. So don't walk into it. They'll usually play pretty defensive. Their biggest weapon is obviously their poison. If you watch out for that, you're pretty fine. You get the boiling glands, which are also used uh, in a lot of the stuff. We got a buddy over here. If he does hit you with it, just back out of it. You can use your bow and arrow too, it's pretty effective. But they're not too difficult. If you get two or three at a time and they start dropping that uh, acid, then it can be uh, a little more difficult to deal with. But one on one, they're usually pretty easy. Just club away. We can't find that other guy. Oh, there's. There he is. Just make sure you're blocking with the club or if you're using a shield and a spear or something. Oh, I'm hungry here. Should be able to take him out before we uh, start starving. One more hit here. There we go. Nice and clean. That's it. Bombardier beetles are not that difficult to deal with. Yeah, and they're uh, <clears throat> bombardier parts, like I said, jerky rack and stuff like that. The boiling glands are also used um, and some of the other crafting. I don't remember. Off the top of my head, so I'm going to sit here and look through real quick. There you go, the oven. You're going to need four of them for that. And there was something else. I'm going to use for any of that stuff. The acid glands are used for the blades and the poison arrows. All right, never mind. Maybe they're not used for as much as I thought. Anyway, the bombardier parts are uh, useful for some of the end game, not end game stuff, but the Shroom and Doom update stuff. So pretty useful. Just go kill a couple when you're out and about and uh, throw the stuff in your storage. And then uh, that way it's sitting there for you when you need to start crafting something. But that's all we got for this one. Next up, I think we're going to go uh, diving in the pond. We'll go uh, take out some tadpoles, some diving bell spiders, and then the, uh, what are they? The boatmen. So stick around, drop a like, uh, leave a comment if you guys are enjoying it or if you, there's something specific you want me to do here and then uh, we'll get to it. So thanks for watching guys. We'll see you in the next one. Later.